Hello everyone, my name is Alberto and I'm with the Yale 2021 intern team and my project is about rocks and stones. So I'll be going around the Bay Area and collecting rocks and stones and showing you guys how they look and how they form. Now I'm specifically on the hunt for a rock named a geode which looks something like this and inside of the geode there's a cavity filled with quartz or better known as crystals and it looks pretty cool so I'm also show you guys where to find them now before I go rock hunting some of the ways to identify if a rock is a geode if it kind of looks like an egg because they usually take forms of a sphere and another way to identify if a rock is a geode if it's, if it's like hollow because usually geodes have cavities inside of them. So if it feels light and it's hollow and it's also a sphere, then it's a pretty good sign that it's a geode. All right guys, so I made it right here to this hill. Hopefully I could find some, some rocks here. So um, there's not a big variety of rocks, like actually kind of underestimated how like much stuff there is but I'm gonna try to find a rock okay guys I just stumbled upon this rock now it doesn't really look too special but there is some like minerals in it so it might be granite but yeah I'll keep looking I really want to find a geo because like, you know when you crack it open it'll have a bunch of crystal like amethyst well amethyst is the rarest but there's also well the most common one is white quartz but it usually has yellowing sometimes see so i'll keep looking so far it's been like an hour and 30 minutes i haven't found anything so i'm gonna have to travel to a few locations <laughs> okay y'all right after i found the granite i actually stumbled upon some sandstone right here of sandstone so that's pretty cool which means that it's there's a good chance we might be able to find a geo oops but yeah I've got to keep looking <laughs> all right guys I actually think I found a geode there's like a lot of rocks here right here is a geode I think I mean it matches the description looks like a quartz one See, I'm going to check it at home and try to crack it out and see how it looks. Yeah. Alright guys, I found another rock right here. By the looks of it, it actually looks like hand because like, it shimmers in the light. I'm not sure what type of rock it is. But, I'm going to make sure to check it out when I get home. Okay guys, so I think I found a good spot right here. There's a couple of rocks really interesting I mean there's this one actually I think it might be a geode I'm not sure it's too like dusty to tell I'm gonna check it out but it feels pretty hollow so I think it's a good chance it might be a geode there's also a couple other rocks but they're not that impressive okay guys so here are the geodes and right now we're about to go like crack them open okay guys so here are the geodes now we have three ways to get these open one is with like a circular saw so you get a clean cut the other way to crack open a geode is the sock which is like a classic method and then the third way is uh hitting it with a hammer so we're just gonna go ahead and try out the sock first okay i got the sock here now I got the geodes, so now I'm gonna put them in. Okay, so I'm gonna go and try to crack open the geodes. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna see if um, anything happened. Okay, so now my brother's gonna go ham on it. Sock time! Oh. <gasps> Okay. 
Okay guys, the sock method, it received a lot of damage. So we're about to see if it worked or not. Okay guys, so only one of the geos ended up opening. As you can see right there. These other ones, they're built like steel. So we're gonna have to go with the second method, the hammer. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go and proceed with the hammer. Alright guys, uh, I forgot about another method, method 4, the rock. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a rock. Um, okay, that didn't work. Let me try it one more time. This one's a pretty heavy rock as well. It's like, hefty. <laughs> okay, um, method 4 isn't working very well, so I think I'm gonna go ahead with the hammer again. Alright guys, I managed to um, crack open the hammer. So there it is. A geode. That's pretty cool. Here's the other part. Right here. Okay guys, so here are the geodes. This is how they came out. So now we're, I'm going to go back home and fill them with better lighting. So. We could see them up close. So we're back and here are the geodes up close. So we have two variations. We have the quartz variation and the calcite variation. Now the quartz variation has a lot more crystals. So it's a lot more solid and they're a lot more bigger. Now the calcite geodes are a bit different. As you can see, they look a lot more sugary and there's a lot more sparkles in it. And for reference, here's some salt and sugar. Now here's a comparison between a quartz geode and a calcite geode. They look almost identical, except one of them has more sparkles than the other. Some of you may be wondering how do geodes form? Well, when rocks form, sometimes they might have small cavities. These cavities are ideal for geode growth because when water passes through them, all the small minerals get caught in the cavity, causing crystals to start growing. Geodes could take thousands or even millions of years to form, depending on the size and the conditions of its environment. Speaking of the environment, here's where I found the geodes, along with its coordinates. Here's the location seen through Google Maps. As you can see, there's a lot of rocks and a lot of boulders, so it pretty much matches where you'd find a geode. Now before I show you some of the resources and books I use, I want to show you this website called Hoopla. So you basically log in with your library card and password and you get a whole selection of a bunch of stuff from your local library, which is pretty neat. Here are some of the books and resources I use to do my video and to do some research. But yeah, everyone, um, that's about it. You made it to the end of my video. So I hope you guys learned a thing or two and enjoyed it.